Hi folks, welcome to Open Source Options. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a split screen view with QGIS, where you show one layer on the left side of the screen and another layer for the same extent on the right side of the screen. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first, let me tell you about the data that I have opened up here. This is an aerial image for the National Agricultural Imagery Project. You can get these for free. You can download them online from the USGS or the USDA. This image is also available as part of my um, GDAL with Python course on Geospatial School if you are interested. All right, so I have this image with two different color composites. So you can see the red, green, blue true color image here. I also have this in near infrared, red, green, um, or false color or color infrared, which is shown here, and it makes vegetation look that red color, a very common um, uh, co false color composite image that we look at. So the goal is to show one of these images on the right and the other one on the left. And this is quite easy to do in QGIS. Now, the first thing we need to do is add a new map view. So right now we're looking at what we'll call the main map view. We're going to add a secondary map view. So we go to view, new map view, or you can also use that keyboard shortcut for your operating system, it pops up this window. And I'm going to dock this over on the right side by dragging it over to the right until this blue window appears. And I'll let go, and that will take just a second, and it will pop up there in that docked location. Yours might initially look more like a sidebar. If that's the case, just go ahead and grab it and drag it out to the middle to make it the size you would like it to be. Now you will notice that if I zoom in over here, um, it doesn't change anything. These aren't linked yet, okay? And we're gonna get to that in just a second. But first I wanna show you that we can add multiple map views to this map. So I can go to view and add a new map view and I can dock that here below this one right there. And now I have three different map views. None of them are linked up. To keep things simple for this tutorial, we're just going to use two map views but just so you know, if you want to, you can have three different views. You can populate those views uh, in your layouts as well uh, if you're interested in that. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is come over here and I want to link these together. So I can synchronize view center with the main map, which I want to do. So you can see that moves over and centers up. And now I can synchronize the scale with the main map and now they're roughly the same size, they're the same scale, and they will be the same size if these map windows are the same size. Now one thing to watch out, and I don't know if this is a bug or not, I've had problems with it lately, but I haven't in the past, is this scale factor. And I'll show you what I mean here. So now if I go to my main view, and you'll notice that little dot on the right, um, on the right, the map one, the map one view, You'll notice it moves as I move my cursor on the main map view showing where I'm zoomed in, or so it's showing where my cursor is located. So if I zoom in on this river up here, you can see that we zoom in and we get the same scale. And we are showing that same extent now in both map windows, which is what we're hoping for. Now let's see if this bug happens. If I go to the right side of the right panel and I zoom in, you can see that scale changes. And I zoom in here and the centers stay the same, but this one zooms in and doesn't correspond here. I can fix that by coming here and adjusting the scale factor back to one, and they'll go back to the same. I'm not sure why that's happening. I've had that problem recently, but I haven't had it in the past. So kind of confusing. Anyway, something to watch out for, you know how to reset it, just zoom in on the main window and it will adapt on the uh, adjacent window. All right, now, I want to show color infrared in one on one side and true color on the other. You'll notice that right now that's not happening. If I turn off the RGB on one side, it turns off on both sides. So what I need to do is if you'll come over to your map window, your, your, your auxiliary window or your second panel, and see this set view theme. If I drop that down, I don't have a view theme to display here. So I need to create a new theme that I can display in this window on the right. And that is very easy to do. We're gonna come over to our layers and right here we have manage map themes. And if I click on this, I can add a theme. Now, an important thing to note here is when I create a new map theme, 
it is going to be created with whatever layers are visible in my layers panel at that time. So if I want to display color infrared on the right, I need to turn off RGB, go to manage map themes, add theme, give it a name, I will call this panel two, click OK. All right, and now you can see here that I have this panel two theme there. I can come over here, I can set the view theme in this window to panel two, it's going to be the near color IR, color infrared, and when I come over here, if I turn it off, it now only turns off in my main view. I can turn on RGB, and now I have those images side by side in split screen view. When I move one, the other moves. Okay, and so that is how you can set up that split screen view. Now you might be asking, what if I want to put the RGB image on the right and the color IR on the left? We can go in and we can update this view. So if we come into update our theme, so if we come into our theme manager, we can go to replace theme and we can click on panel two, click yes. And now we have RGB here. We can turn it off on this side, turn on color IR, and now we have successfully swapped them. We can also come in um, and we could create a new map theme. So we could add a theme and we could name this color IR, and then we're able to apply color IR theme here and adjust things here as well. So we can also come in now and we can um, add another theme and call this RGB. And now we can easily switch between RGB or panel two or color infrared, depending on what we want to show on the left side. Very, very easy to do. So we can just always come in here um, and adjust those as we see fit. So that's how you can create a split screen view um, in QGIS. Uh, I hope you have found this useful. And if you're interested in more ways to display these, these aerial images, you can check out my QGIS course for remote sensing on Geospatial School, where we go over a lot of these false color composite images and ways to analyze imagery. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I hope you learned a lot from this video.